The sporting world has a host of those who tore the line, play by the rules, and then, of course, there are a few who love to play the problem child. Like Australian cricketer Glenn Maxwell, a dynamic and unpredictable character on the field, and as we are discovering over time, off the field as well. A terrific all-rounder on the field and also off it because of his idiosyncrasies. Probably that's why he's called a freak. It probably is his nature to take the attack to the opposition while on the field and then at the same time get on a self-destructive mode of it. Let's look at what happened a few days ago. He was in Adelaide in Australia at a concert where he got drunk. He fell unwell and was briefly hospitalized thereafter. What exactly happened is still not entirely clear, but it was not the kind of headlines he would have liked to wake up to. And now Cricket Australia is conducting an investigation into the incident and what Maxwell exactly did. There are a few things coming out via reports though, post the mishap. It is being reported that Maxwell went to Adelaide for a celebrity golf event first. It was hot and humid and he was out all day. And after that went to a pub for some drinks, catching a concert. This was after his team was knocked out of the Big Bash League. Now, the Big Bash League is a T20 tournament in Australia, and Glenn Maxwell captains the Melbourne Stars. And his team did not quite have the season he would have hoped for. The captaincy at Melbourne Stars has been a mixed bag for Glenn Maxwell. It started off well from 2018 when he led them to a couple of finals in the first two seasons at the helm. The run of bad results thereafter pushed him to give up his captaincy right after this season concluded for the Melbourne Stars. Fans do not take too kindly to the decision. Captaincy aside though, Maxwell has incredible numbers in the T20 format. He's considered one of the best T20 batters in the world with a strike rate of 153 plus. He clearly feels the club now needs someone new to helm affairs and be a leader, shoulder the responsibility of decision making and leading aside. Coming back to what happened at Adelaide though, after the incident involving Maxwell, Cricket Australia on Monday said, and I quote, he will not feature in the ODI series against the West Indies that starts on the 2nd February. In fact, they said Cricket Australia is aware of an incident involving Glenn Maxwell in Adelaide at the weekend and is seeking further information. It is not related to him being replaced in the ODI squad, a decision that was made following the BBL and based on his individual management plan. Maxwell is expected to return for the T20 series. No further comment will be made at this time. It is, of course, Cricket Australia's way of damage control and also give Maxwell some time to get in line, ship up and get back to serious cricket business. This isn't the first time Maxwell has got on the wrong side of matters regarding his off-field activities. In 2022, he broke his leg at a birthday party. During the 2023 Cricket World Cup, he reportedly fell off a golf cart and missed a game. Australia went on to win the ODI World Cup thereafter. And that was probably the best carpet to roll over another of Maxwell's mishaps. While Glenn Maxwell's strength shines on the field, he's a match winner, an X-factor in Captain Pat Cummins' words. His nonchalant approach has left people wondering about his commitment to the sport and his team, something seniors in the, in the cricket set up in Australia are beginning to voice themselves. Maxwell needs to obviously have a look at what he's doing at his end and is that the right thing to be doing at that time. Thankfully, there's no harm out of it. He is well now. He'll return to play in that West Indies series in those T20 games, which we are excited for. Now, at one hand, we see the Mad Max rage who leaves everyone in awe. On one hand, there is his breathtaking shots, quick fire, batting or fielding, as well as guile with the ball. And the other hand, there's the bizarre incidents he keeps running himself into. We saw him wreaking havoc during the ODI World Cup against the Afghans with his double ton. Pat Cummins labelled that as the greatest ODI innings of all time. And it was in the same World Cup, like we mentioned earlier, that golf incident happened. He's a hero, but also not one who fits into the traditional hero mould. His perfect skills are balanced out with his imperfect choices. Additionally, he's passionate about golf and tennis. Even before he rose to international fame and debuted for Australia, he was picked up by the IPL franchise Delhi Daredevils, which is now Delhi Capitals. He's Battled, battled depression, come out of it. He's a father now. He enjoys that time away from cricket as well. So he's like the misfit that we need, but also someone who is proving to be a little too much to handle. How long will Australia continue to give a long rope to Maxwell? A talent alone and his talent alone good enough to surpass the troublesome behaviour that comes with it.